Hi again, everyone. I'm back with another 21 Pilots request. This time, it's Shy Away. The drum beat that we need for almost the entire song is an eight bar loop, but it is quite quick. So what I'll do is I'll break down these eight bars so that you can learn them, and then I'll go back in and talk about how you might work on getting that hand speed so eventually you can play along to the song. So first up, here's the very first four bars at the start of the song. And now here's the second four bars. Now I'll put those eight bars back together so you can hear what they sound like in the song. So like I said at the beginning, it is a pretty straightforward pattern that you can probably memorize in a pretty short amount of time, but the trick is getting it to go that fast. So one thing that I'm definitely concentrating on is playing shoulder and tip on the hi-hats, so what that means is that I'm bringing the shoulder of the stick onto the hi-hats and my wrist is coming down. Then on the way up, I'm playing the tip as my wrist comes up. And that way I kind of get two strokes for the price of one. If that isn't something that you've practiced before, it will take quite a lot of practice just to get used to it, to be able to throw it back into your regular rock beats. But it's a great sound and it's a really good way to help develop that hand speed. Watching the film clip, I think Josh uses a bit more of a French grip as well, so you can muck around with that. That means turning the thumb so that it's pointing up, and that way you get to use your fingers a little bit more, and that's going to help you with a bit more hand speed as well. But anyway, I think the biggest thing is to just try it, and just try and get up to speed, keep practicing, eventually you'll develop the muscles and the endurance, and then you can play along to the song. Moving on, as we hit the chorus, there's just one crash cymbal at the very start of that loop. Hopefully your arm hasn't fallen off already because we keep going with that same eight bar pattern, but then halfway through the next verse, we scale it back and have a little break with just snare drums on beat two and beat four. Nice and easy. So maybe use that time to just shake out your right hand and get a little bit of blood flowing again. After those four bars, we go back into the groove, but we're gonna have a stop in the last bar as well. So this is what that sounds like. I'll put those two bits back together. After a few more choruses, the next bit to look at is a fill that just leads us into the halftime heavy drums. So hopefully you know exactly where we're up to. The beat changes just a tiny bit, and then there's a fill that just moves down the kit like this. That brings us to the halftime heavy drums. There's just two bars in halftime, and then we switch back and go back into full time again. I'll play that whole section for you slowly.
shortly after that, there's another quick little fill and it's just on the snare drum coming in on the end of three going and uh, four E and R. Uh. But because the song is going so fast, it sounds way trickier than that. Let me break it down slowly. From there, we go back through another couple of choruses, just using that same eight bar loop that we've done the whole time. At the end of these choruses, the beat just changes a little bit and you'll hear it in the music as well. The kick drums start to lock in with a different part of the riff. So I'll just play this two bar loop for you real quick. That beat goes around three times and in the fourth time there's a little fill and this again is going to lead us into another halftime section. I'll play the fill first. I definitely find that easiest if you can get your left hand up onto the first tom. That's going to leave you nice and open to go left, right, and then back into the beat. So from here, we are into the halftime section again. Let me play through these couple of bars. We've just got one more eight bar loop to go. The first four bars, there's no hi-hats at all. And then we come back in with the hi-hats on beat two, which is a little bit unusual, but it sounds really great. And then that's gonna take us into the end of the song. And with that little fill, that brings us to the very end of Shy Away by 21 Pilots. Like I said at the start, it is quite quick to get those hi-hats up to speed. So don't get discouraged if you don't just get it like that. You might need to stop, practice, maybe just isolate those hi-hats and really work on that shoulder tip technique. So eventually you can get it up to speed. Have fun learning this song. Happy practicing. And I'll see you at the next lesson.